Welcome again. Thank you for joining me. We are in Psalm 37. We will look at verses 8 and 9 in our short little time together so you can be prepared for that. Uh, but also let us prepare in prayer. Oh, we thank you, oh God. You're in charge. All things are under your purview. You see all things. All things, oh God, happen under your sovereignty. And there is nothing, oh God, that can erode or chip away or uh, lessen your power, your authority, and your lordship over the creation. Help us, Lord, to remember that as the world is in chaos, God, even as our own hearts at times live in chaos. Lord, help us to be settled and calm in you, our Savior. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So recall that in this psalm, David is reflecting upon why the godless seem to succeed while the godly seem to fail and how that just seems backwards and wrong and awful. And so throughout, there's encouragement and challenge, instruction for us. And in verse 8 of Psalm 37, David writes, Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. Refrain from anger. It is so tempting that we, once wronged, once righteous indignation hits us, to, to want to act out, to strike out, to... to uh, you know, lift up our fists and fight back. And David here is saying, listen, I, the world is messed up. And we don't need to look very far to have reminders of the fact that the world is broken. The world is in chaos. And as I was praying and thinking, even, uh, you know, our own lives, our own minds, we, we are conflicted. But it's, it's very common, I know I experience this, when, when things are not right in a, in a world event, when there's what appears to be those that are powerless, uh, harmed, and taken advantage of by the powerful, and, and that does something in me that I just want to grit my teeth and, and, and just scream and yell and explode. And David says, refrain from anger. And forsake wrath. He, he's saying here that revenge is not the answer. When we're driven by that kind of rage, we're seeking out revenge. We want to we want to act out our anger as opposed to see righteousness reign. And that's a problem. We can, we can't just act out in anger because what matters is the righteousness of God, the glory of God, the goodness of God. When God exudes wrath, that wrath is not just because God snapped and it was a, a, a reaction. No, the wrath of God is to preserve and proclaim the righteousness of God. God is not one who is rash or prone to unpredictable explosions like we are. And, and so David repeats again like he did in verse 7, fret not, don't get hot under the collar, don't get all worked up. Remain calm. Why? Because in the end, as David reflects here by the Holy Spirit, the evildoer will be cut off. They look like they're doing great now, but they will have a time when they are judged. And those that wait for the Lord, though, those that wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. God will set things right. It may not be in our lifetime. It may not be in this decade. It may not be in this century. But Jesus will come back to set things right. And so uh, I, I want to offer you this summary statement. Keep calm in Christ. I need that. And I know you need that. In this word here today, let us be reminded to keep calm in Christ. I'll see you again tomorrow.